So here we are with the Van de Graaff generator starting to be put together. So as you can see, I've um, attached the motor controls here to the base unit. Uh, there's my speed controller and then my on off switch just there. Um, when we put this together, we made the bottom roller. I'll just get that so you can see. Sorry about the shaking. Okay. Can you see that? A bit dark. No, no, it's coming in. Okay, when we made this bottom roller here, we had four screws for it here, 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 and here. Those screws undo when this black plate comes off and allows us access to the actual roller here for putting the belt on. Um, when you put on the There you go. When you put on this control unit, you need to make sure that you leave that area clear so that you can get those off. Okay, so that's there. The motor's been fixed down, that bottom roll has been fixed, and the two um, pulleys either side. And you see, you see those pulleys? That pulley and that pulley, they're in line. Okay. The top roll has been fixed on, and I've made this thing. Put that back for you. There we go. This thing is a discharge rod. So obviously when you charge this up, you're going to charge it up to 500, 600,000 volts. The last thing you really want to do is be touching it. Um, now when you charge it up, obviously, and you turn it off, at some stage or other, you're going to want to get rid of that charge. And the way you do it is by using this. This is, as I say, a discharge rod. What it's got on the end, um, this is actually just a chrome door handle. And that chrome door handle has been soldered to a length of cable. The length of cable has been passed up this length of plastic pipe. And then I put some rubber tape on the bottom there to form a handle. And it's about a metre long. So you're able to just touch that dome nice and safely to discharge it. This bit of cable at the end here will be attached to a block on the bottom there and that's your earthing block so the discharge rod will be attached to the earthing block the uh, lower comb will be attached to the same earthing block and then that earthing block will have its own attachment to its own earth again don't run this through the household earth or you'll blow any electronics that you've got televisions computers you'll just blow them to pieces so you need to make sure that it's got its own earth okay and we'll, we'll put in an earth later and i'll show you how to do that and what that means um, the only things left to do to this are to attach the combs and to um, fit the belt and then we're to rock and roll. So that's what we're going to do next. Uh, I made a little cradle incidentally for this rod. The, rod's t the plastic is 20 mil thick so plumbing fittings fit it quite nicely. So it's just a little snap on fitting there so the rod can actually stay in place. Okay so next thing is the belt.